Just the other day I was talking to a non-farmer and we were driving past a field where there was a terrace in it and the, the, this non-farmer just asked, well, what's that and why, why are you farming around that whole thing? Uh, so today we wanted to talk just a little bit about what terraces are exactly, what they do, and farming on the contour versus just farming straight across the field. Well, if all farms were flat, like this one that Brian and I are in today, we wouldn't have to talk about terraces or contours, but when you have hilly ground, it does present some challenges on the farm. First of all, are the hills too steep for equipment to operate on? Now we see in different parts of the country uh, where there are some really steep hills that farmers have, have adapted their practices to be able to farm on, uh, but that's a real challenge and farmers don't want to have equipment tip over as they're going across the side of a hill. So when we've got some real extreme hills, uh, rather than going up and down, farmers may want to uh, somehow level that side of the hill out and, and put some terraces in so they've got some little breaks going down the slope of that hill. The other thing is erosion. And when we think about steep hills, that's one of the biggest fears farmers have is, wow, if I farm up and down on this hill, that's going to allow heavy rains to just run straight down the hill and wash my crop out and wash my soil away. So for those reasons, there are a lot of different practices farmers in hilly ground will have to do. All right, let's talk specifically about terraces. There are two main types of terraces that we have to deal with even in our own operation. It's push-up terraces, where it kind of like Darren's talking about, you flatten uh, the ground down below it just a little bit and push a whole bunch of dirt up and you won't be able to farm any of the back side of that terrace at all. And then there are uh, terraces where you don't have to have that much dirt, you don't have to have that steep a slope, you're able to farm over the top of it but you kind of farm around it. We deal with some of those as well. So I don't even know what exactly the name would be on that other than the push-up terrace uh, but we're dealing with both of those types of things. So the push-up terrace you're not going to farm, definitely the back side of that and just a regular terrace uh, that we would have to deal with on our farm. We are going to farm both sides of that but we're going to kind of farm around. It's going to be at an angle and that's one of the challenges when we talk about terraces in general. So just to give you an example, some of the stuff that we're looking at on our farm, I'm, I'm going to take a couple of terraces out because years ago our grandpa, that was the only way he had to stop erosion. He had to do tillage because there was no other way to control weeds and insects. Today we can go no-till or we can go strip-till and that dramatically reduces the amount of erosion in the field because we leave so much residue there and so many plants, even though the plants are dead, they still have root masses, they still have stalks, they still have things to hold soil in place. So the need for terraces today isn't as much, but certainly they are still a viable practice. One last term that you may hear when farmers are talking about farming through hilly ground is farming on the contour, and that just means going across uh, those hills on, from the side rather than going straight up and down those hills. By doing so, you've got a row, like for example, uh, many corn farmers are using 30 inch rows, so they'll have a row of corn every 30 inches. Well imagine if you had that going straight up and down the hill, well you've got these 30 inch wide channels for water to run, but by going across the side of that hill, they've got a break where, where water is slowed down every 30 inches and, and it allows if there's any kind of washing at all to catch every 30 inches uh, and stop it and, and take a lot of the velocity out of that water running down the side of the hill. So farmers will, will oftentimes farm on the contour as much as they can. Now the challenge for farmers is the hills don't run nice and even across their field. So it isn't like, oh, there's one rolling hill and I can hit it at the same direction and be just perfect across the field. Those hills move up and down and side to side and, and so there's some parts of the field that a farmer can do a really good job and other parts that may be a challenge because, wow, every other hill kind of ran east to west but this one kind of runs a little bit north to south and it, it's a challenge. So oftentimes you'll see various patterns out in fields as farmers try to protect their soil and raise the best crops they can. Well, if you want to raise the best crop you can on your farm, you're going to need to control our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 